Welcome to our video series on creating and using mini sites. In this video, we'll look at customizing a site with Dreamweaver. If you have the software and would prefer to use the software Macromedia Dreamweaver, now an Adobe product, and if you go to macromedia.com, you'll be redirected to Adobe and you can generally get a 30-day free trial of their software, so you may want to take a look. Dreamweaver, compared to Mozilla Composer, is a lot more powerful. It's really designed for professional web designers and it has a huge number of features and functionality you're not going to use, or you're going to use very, very rarely. However, if you do want to use this software, or get to know this software, you can again very easily apply the tactics of creating a mini site in Mozilla Composer, and you can easily transfer it over here to Dreamweaver. So let's quickly go through this. We want to create a new blank File New A new blank web page. Basic page, HTML, Create. That's fine, a basic blank page. Then we want to add a table, so insert table. Again, you're seeing the same terms, the same standard HTML features, tables, rows, table width, and so on, again and again. So, four rows, one column, pixels, 600 is generally what I go for, zero border width, cell padding of 10, cell spacing of zero. So let's OK that. And what we can do, now we can select the table by choosing Modify, Table, Select Table. OK, it's selected. And let's Modify, Align, Excuse me, my mistake. I neglected to mention, and actually momentarily forgot, even though I generally use Dreamweaver a lot, is that a lot of the settings automatically appear here, in the Properties Options box here. So we've selected the table, and you can see most of the options we've chosen. What we want to do is click on Align, and Center. And to make sure the properties, the options, appear, if you go to Window, make sure Properties is ticked. And you'll see with Dreamweaver, if you start clicking these, when it decides to respond, OK, you see more options appear here. And if we choose more, you start getting more and more on the screen, and it starts getting slightly crowded. And the more in-depth you go into its features, the more complicated it becomes. And really, for creating basic but yet very useful mini-sites, Dreamweaver is somewhat overkill. Mozilla Composer works perfectly well. However, let's finish this example. Let's get rid of those to free up some screen space. And we want to get rid of that, so click here. There we go. OK, we're back. So again, just in the top row, link 1, space, hyphen, space, or space, vertical line, or pipe, as you wish, space, link 2, link 3, link 4. And again, you click, hold, and drag, and you can align it in the center. 
You can change the font. And okay, let's ignore that for now. Let's change the size. Let's say 14, and you can make it bold. And you can specify your document title here, so it's actually very similar, but just with a lot more features if you delve into them, but very similar with what we're creating here to Composer and Front Page. You can add text, you can format it, you can add links. For adding a link, we just select, insert, hyperlink, and there's our text. And we just add a link. So let's say page2.html. OK. And we can add a headline. Main text goes here. You can select the headline, center it, make it bold, make it 24 pixels, change the color to red, and again, if we wish, we can click, hold, and drag those to select those. Edit, copy, place the cursor here, edit, paste, Let's try just paste here. There we go. And then center that. So we have the same sort of options again. And one nice touch of Dreamweaver is if you go to Modify, Page Properties, you can choose the default font for the entire page. You can choose the default font size for the entire page. You can choose the default color, the default background color, which is, of course, generally white. So you can OK that. I always find that a useful feature as a shortcut. So that's an introduction to using Dreamweaver. And the version I'm using is the latest version as I'm recording this, but it's Macromedia Dreamweaver 2004. They may have released something new by the time you view this, but this suits my purposes very well. But just for your own interest, you may want to download the 30-day free demo and just try it out and see what you think. But as I mentioned, it's a lot more complicated than Front Page, and definitely a lot more complicated than Mozilla Composer. It has the same features, but goes into them in a lot more depth. And if you're a power user and an advanced web designer, you may find good use for a lot of the advanced features. However, for creating mini-sites, you'll find that you won't use the vast majority of them.